dear audience, welcome to Team Talk Salon. This episode, we invite Mr. Fatih, the president of Machine Tools Industries and Businessman Association of Turkey, Tia, to be our distinguished guest. Hi, Mr. Fatih. Hello, hi. Okay, so first, let me briefly introduce Team Toast. Team Toast is Taiwan's largest machine tool show organized by Taitra and Tammy. Team Toast Salon is a brand new program to interview associations regarding what and how their industry has been going through and the current status of the industry since the COVID 19 outbreak. And Turkey, and Turkey is, a is a very important market for global and Taiwan's machine tool manufacturers. Especially yes. this year, even we saw the big impact of the pandemic to this industry, you can see huge growth of the, of the export from Taiwan to Turkey when it comes to machine tool. So, Mr. Yeah. Fati, uh, please give us a brief introduction of TIA and the impacts of COVID-19 to the markets either um, uh, import and export of your local markets. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, before talking about the impact of COVID-19 in machine tool industry, I would like to give some brief information about the industry trend in recent years. Mm -hmm. uh, the worldwide, we had big uh, economic recession in 2009 and uh, Turkey was one of the country who developed uh, machine tool business very quickly. And uh, five years, uh, 2014 was the peak year in which the consumption of machine tool reached up to $1.5 billion. Uh, also one of the uh, important uh, consumption in Europe. But uh, it started to drop slightly in following years. Mm -hmm. Many countries of the world 2018 was the best year of machine tool. Turkey also, uh, we had the same situation in the first three quarter, mm -hmm. but some, some economic recession in uh, August 2018 and uh, order intake uh, during the last quarter was not so good. Those, uh, the total consumption of machine tool dropped to $1 billion level while uh, almost 80% of this supplied by import products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 2019, there was a slowdown in the sector globally, especially with the effect of uh, automotive business. Yeah. Yeah. Automotive is also very important in Turkey, so uh, it is also very much depending on our business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Turkey, generally, the situation was also the same, but because of deferred investments from the beginning of 2019, yeah. the last was not so good, uh, was not so bad. And also, beginning of 2020 was promising. But then uh, COVID-19 started. Uh, meanwhile, I would like to just point out that the number uh, related to machine tool market size are based on Turkish Statistical Institute, mm -hmm. where information is released uh, on the date of uh, real import and export. Considering the average delivery time of machine tool, the real situation is reflected in the figure with a delay of five, six months approximately. Mm -hmm. uh, if we search the real number from the statistic, uh, we cannot see the actual figure of uh, COVID effect, but it will be, uh, I guess, it will be in following months, we will see the result. Mm -hmm. Uh, the restriction, re general restriction related to pandemic started toward the end of March in Turkey mm -hmm. and uh, continued until end of May. Mm -hmm. uh, the new normalization at the beginning of June, uh, we restart negotiation for the suspended investment for machine tool. So most of the production shut down in this period and the short time working process of most factories caused a halt in new investments. So the order level in this month also is quite uh, bad, of course. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the main reflection of the result uh, to the figure will be in the second half of the year. So uh, coming back to a main question, which is related to machine tool market size projection uh, after COVID-19, 
So we can expect that uh, some reduction about 10, 20% compared to previous year. So you just said that um, since May, since May that most of your uh, manufacturing sector is suspended. So what about the current status of, um, of returning to work for uh, manufacturing sector? Yeah, of course, uh, despite the short term work and uh, travel restriction, yeah. uh, I think there are major disruption in the supply chain because of great devotion in transportation of cargo services. Uh, regarding machine tool delivery, installation and after sales service support also continued during the pandemic period. Mm -hmm. Of course, delay occurred in spare parts delivery because of limited uh, flight availability from abroad, mm -hmm. but we continue uh, support of uh, production and many company, uh, except uh, April, May period, mm -hmm. uh, they continue production. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. And okay, and Mr. Fatih, you just say that around eighty percent of your machine tool is in, uh, imported uh, from the foreign countries. Yes. So uh, the percentage is like uh, eighty percent imported and twenty percent use the uh, made in Turkey machine tools, right? This this is a, a pro uh, the, the the percentage of uh, your yes. markets. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Most of the industry is for automotive. So what about like uh, aerospace, defense, diamond modes, other uh, industry that use uh, machine yes. tool? Uh, of course, automotive is the leading industry for our machine tool market. But mm -hmm. uh, Turkey has recently become also a very important uh, supplier for aerospace parts. And also defense industry is quite strong in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can say leading sector for machine tool business mm -hmm. and diamond mold mainly for uh, both automotive, uh, white goods uh, is very important oh, for good, yeah. and also mm -hmm. for machine tool business of course and uh, what we can say uh, general subcontracting business and medical industry also mm -hmm. for uh, machine tool. Thank you. So now I would like to ask a question that most of the machine tool suppliers in Taiwan care about. Since April mm -hmm. 2020, Turkey has imposed higher taxes on some imports, including machine tools. Okay. And that means Taiwan's machine tool makers need to pay extra uh, 7 to 10 percent import tax uh, while exporting to Turkey. So based on, so based scenario, on this scenario, what's your suggestion for our uh, Taiwanese machine tool manufacturers? And do you see any possibility of policy change in the near future? As we uh, describe, uh, Turkey's 75-80 uh, percent of machine tool are uh, consumed in Turkey are import products. And uh, of course, during pandemic period, it created big economical impact, uh, not only in Turkey, but all over the world. So uh, Turkish also need to make some uh, policy change uh, regarding import condition of the products, as well as some machine tool uh, products. This is mainly um, to reduce uh, trade deficits and also to support uh, local production. Sure. Mm. On the other hand, uh, Turkey is uh, strong for sheet metal machinery, uh, but not for machining center or lace, which are consumed quite high volume in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, those product, I can say, even the ratio of import is more than 90, 95%. Mm. Uh, the decision of uh, Additional tax uh, to support local production and also to reduce uh, trade deficit. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, as TIAD organization, uh, we claim to government offices that uh, this is not a correct decision mm -hmm. for machine industry where uh, we support uh, our manufacturing sector uh, with multiplying effect to Turkish export business, which is over $20 billion. Uh, mm. uh, any additional tax which creates cost increase for the supplier or for the uh, manufacturing companies, uh, it reduces their competitiveness worldwide. So uh, mm. this 
the approach from our point of view. And of course, uh, when we talk about additional tax, uh, it is not applied to all countries because uh, mm -hmm. um, part of the uh, European Customs Union. So, uh, based on these agreements, uh, any decision uh, related to tax issue, uh, all countries from Europe are exemption. Uh, so, uh, of course, Turkey is also a uh, good uh, import country for European machine tool companies. Uh, but also uh, some country that Turkey have mutual free trade agreements. Mm -hmm. This is say like South Korea and Switzerland for machine tools are also exempted. And uh, the only country that are affected from additional tax uh, and also where Turkey imports um, machine tool mostly are Taiwan. China, Japan, and USA. And uh, so what we believe is uh, this additional tax also creates uh, unfair competition. Mm -hmm. So don't support the idea and we believe that uh, government need to step back from the decision at least to implement the tax uh, for machine tool. So it is currently now Implement, implemented as a 10% until end of September, and it will be reduced to 7% mm -hmm. from October yeah. this year. But we don't have any deadline uh, announced by the government, so until then, this will continue. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you for your exp explanation, because we can see that for the uh, first half of this year, Taiwan's uh, export to Turkey in terms of machine tools like 100, more than 100% 100, 100 100 growth. I think, I think this every yeah. every every supplier they are the afraid of the taxes, so that's so why, as you can see, the yes. growth. Yeah. 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 And also, we can see that COVID 19 has struck as the core of global value chain top regions, including China, Europe, and the US. The pandemic has severe uh, implications for international production network and they leave its legacy for years to come. Could you share us your insights of supply chain disruption and its implications for Turkish and even the global market? Despite the short-term work uh, in China and also travel restriction, mm -hmm. I think there are a major uh, disruption in the supply chain because of great devotion of uh, transportation and cargo services. Yes, yes. Also, regarding machine tool delivery uh, during the pandemic period and all installation and after sales service support also continue uh, during this period. And of course, some delay occurred in spare part delivery because of limited flight availability from abroad. Yes. But uh, company uh, in machine tool business in Turkey, uh, they continue supporting uh, their customers. Okay, thank you. And uh, Mr. Fatih, yeah. uh, just to share with you that, uh, okay, this is this is the last question I'd like to share with you that, uh, actually I've been to, uh, I've been to Istanbul uh, in 2018 to promote Simpos. And I met the last uh, president. We have a great time in Istanbul. Yeah, it's a very good place. Mm -hmm. And since this is a program for Timtos, have you ever been to Timtos? And if yes, so what's your impression yes, regarding Tintos? Twice. Twice? Okay, that's good. <laughs> so what's your impression about Tintos? Yeah. And all or the Taiwanese? Well, uh, I should say uh, Taiwan is taking important role, uh, as you described. Uh, so for the supply of machine tool in Turkish market, uh, Taiwan is the second one for the value and the biggest quantity. Oh, so no you. any doubt <laughs> one is uh, the major supplier of machine tool in Turkish market. So uh, and also, uh, the characteristic of Turkish markets for machine tool business is suitable for commodity type machine mm -hmm. because of many tractor uh, for automotive and general production. So the number of small and medium enterprises also are quite high in Turkey, uh, where the price also become the top priority for the investment. Mm -hmm. 
as the major show of Taiwan machine tool, Kimtos is very important for the companies and also their customer who make business with Taiwan for machine tools. So, and of course, uh, we will follow all developments in machine tool. And uh, I can say uh, Turkey also, our government uh, start to make uh, more investment in the production of machine tool, mm. and which the Taiwan is a good model for this, uh, which grow very fast in the recent years in the world. Mm. Okay, Kintos will be held from March uh, 15 to 20 next year. We will come uh, mm -hmm. if um, if everything is. Yeah, everything is fine. Uh, the border is open. We welcome you to uh, to, yeah, show, thank you very much. Yeah, to visit our show. And uh, actually, we uh, also welcome many Turkish companies to join us exhibitor. Last year, we have like um, we have a pavilion, but it's it's not very big. But we have one. Yeah, yeah. So we, we hope that in the near future, we can still have yeah. a Turkish company, more and more Turkish company, to join us, and uh, especially uh, Mr. Fatih to join us in the future. So thank you today for the interview. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank, thank you. you. I thank you very much.